Hey guys, welcome back to episode 6. As you have seen in the title, I want to make netherite god armor this episode. That means that every single piece of armor and gear has the perfect enchantments, making it insanely powerful. Which of course is perfect if you don't want to die. So first, let's get the ancient debris needed to make netherite gear. The best way to find ancient debris is by using TNT. And since we have a mob farm, we do have some gunpowder. I don't know how much gunpowder we have, but it at least it's definitely enough for like one stack or so. What is happening with the world generation? Like literally, what is that? Do we have enough sand? We definitely do not have enough sand. I think I'm just gonna destroy this beach. It's not what I like to do, but what it has to be done. And to be fair, it's pretty satisfying. I think one of the most satisfying things in Minecraft, except when you do it for five hours, which I once did, and that was painful. No! I'm dying! Rescue, rescue time. Come on! Yes, yes, just... Yeah. No, no. What the hell? What the f But with all the sand gathered up, it's time to now make some TNT. And I guess since now we have an elytra, we also should make an automatic sugar cane farm. Because yes, we are going to run out of rockets eventually. Also very sad. One stack of TNT, I have no clue if that's gonna be enough. I don't even know how much ancient debris we should get. Something like 9 pieces would be nice. That means 36 ancient debris. Oh, that's that's quite a lot. Into the nether, hunting for netherite. We need to descend to level 15 or something like that. There better not be lava here. Let's just first do a test run, you never know. Oh, help. That is a lot of lava, and I do not see any ancient debris. Also, while we are doing this anyways, why not get the gold? Zero ancient debris so far, and there goes basically half my TNT. Let's hope for the best. And right off the bat, I do see some right there. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is nice, but it's only three pieces. Attempt number three. Yes, and yes. Yeah, maybe time to drink that. Am I doing this the right way? Does ancient debris even exist in Minecraft? I mean, it does exist. Did I change anything? Like, do I have to go up higher or lower to find it? I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Well, there go my last five pieces of TNT. Please do your thing. Yeah, as expected. Absolutely nothing. And as you can see, that wasn't very successful. I have never felt so dissatisfied coming out of a mine. Going to be completely honest with you there. This costs 64 pieces of TNT. <laughs> I don't understand. You know what? Let's go with sword. Now we need a plan to get some more ancient debris because this is just not enough. And in pure sadness, I'm just going to uh, farm some potatoes. After a bit of AFKing, we got a little bit of gunpowder, but it's definitely not enough now, is it? Yeah, definitely not. So I guess we are going to have to mine manually as well, which to be fair, isn't that bad. I mean, it's it's... It's kind of bad. Here we go once again to level 15. At least gotta have full netherite by the end of this episode. There it goes. Wow, that hurt more than I wanted it to. And I do see some netherite right there. I feel for my pickaxe already. Seriously, where did they hide the ancient debris? It's nowhere to be seen. Like why is it always when I talk about something, it just pops up? I should have said that sooner. Oh! Oh yeah, that's that's what happens when you do this, apparently. Hey beauty, you're gorgeous. My cinnamon roll. My second cinnamon roll. It's always a delight to see you. It's even more of a delight to see two of you. And I don't even know what to say about three. But as you can see, we are making progress. Except my pickaxe is kind of screaming right now. Lava, you're not gonna steal this one away from me. This one is mine. Just like this one. But I gotta say, we are lucky with the two and three veins though. <laughs> oh! No. Why are you fooling me? Every time this pops up, I think it's ancient debris. But it's obviously not. Hmm. 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 Number 20, you're beautiful. Just like the other 19, basically. But still. Hmm. Hmm. Your mind. Also, gravel might be one of the most annoying things while doing this. Hello? And to be fair, gold is quite a nice byproduct. So one time gravel has helped me find one of those things. Actually, it helped me find two. Actually, it helped me find three. 
I just killed that lava as soon as it came out. And where is my last piece of ancient debris? Where is it? What? Minecraft? You okay? I mean, invisible barrier be like? That was weird. Yes! Yes! Finally! This final piece. And to be fair, I'm surprised by the amount of gold we have. But with the ancient debris gathered up, it is time to go home now. There might be a lava lake, so maybe the best is if we just drink a potion of feather resist- Feather resistance. Are you kidding me? And I know it's terrifying. We're just gonna be fine, okay? We're gonna be fine. We're fine. And flying in the nether with an elytra? It's just scary, you know? How am I supposed to find a way? Can I fly under this? Do you think I can fly under this? Or am I gonna die? I'm probably gonna die. And I have no clue where I'm going. I truly do not recognize any of this. I have no idea. Uh, somewhere just looks familiar. And it surely does because I see my nether portal. We're gonna glide into... Okay, that did not sound good at all. Like, really not. In any case, I'm insanely happy we got back from the nether. And there are phantoms? Come here, you little piece of freaking sh**. Got it. All that aside, we got quite some ancient debris. And also quite some gold. And isn't that a beautiful sound? Not a single bit of ancient debris coming out. What did you do, Furnace? What did you do with my ancient debris? And we don't need these budget joker boxes anymore. I guess it's time to burn. Can't be bothered sorting this all out and it's trash anyways. Again? That block has to go. I'm worried. Where the hell did Panetta scrap go? Because I definitely had more than 23. What's going on here? Ancient debris was just clogging up for some reason. After resolving that very scary situation. Eight netherite ingots. That's what we did it all for. Smiting table. Here we go. Let's just start by doing our two pickaxes. My axe. My shovel. And of course, also very important, my armor pieces. I gotta say, I'm asserting dominance right now. Huh? Who's gonna kill me? No, who's gonna kill me now? You wish. I think I'm afraid. I'm not afraid of anyone anymore. I'm not even losing health. With the nether right now taken care of, it is time to move on to the second step of getting god armor. Since we will be needing a lot of XP to get the perfect enchantments on my gear, we are going to build an enemy farm. I feel more than ready to build an enemy farm with my beautiful netherite gear. We're gonna need quite some building blocks and we really do not have any building blocks. We're first going to gather up all the items we need. Can you share llamas? I actually don't know. I don't think you can, but you never know. Nope. We also need a way to get name tags and I'm pretty sure librarians do sell them. Yes, look at that, a name tag. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm just gonna buy two, I think. Well, a little bit later, quite a lot of stone. And one thing that's quite weird is that there's cobblestone in there, even though I obviously mined with my silk touch pickaxe. Huh? And I think we basically got everything gathered up, right? Wow, he nodded. See, that's when you know you really have gathered up everything you need. Can I? Okay, I guess you're gonna have a second use after all. Look at that. It's actually pretty nice to just, you know, have a book of all the coordinates always with you. Enough getting distracted, but let's get over to the end. Unlimited XP, here I come. Okay, well, let's first find a place where we can bridge out 128 blocks. This right here seems like a pretty good spot if you ask me. The bridging out, I'm literally trusting my life to leaves. And there doesn't seem to be any enemy, which is good. And no, before you ask, I do not have a cool design just yet. So this is just for functionality. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, one day we will get a really awesome design for this enemy farm. Since we will probably be spending quite some time here. After I put this carpet on, that's the first platform done. And the collection system as well. Just gonna add a border because I really don't want to fall off. Now we're gonna add the carpet so that the enemy cannot teleport over here. I guess we really do not have enough carpets. Did I do something wrong? Never mind, problem fixed. And the reason I'm not building this lower is because if I fall into the void, and that's inevitably going to happen at one point, I want to have the time to grab my rockets and to fly out of the void again. So yes, I will trade a little bit of efficiency for extra safety. We gliding. What? Why is there an enderman? Gotta do what we gotta do. I hope he's dead. And I think that's all the layers done. It is exactly the reason why we are going to wear this pumpkin helmet. Which sucks. Yes, I know. And I might or might not have installed a resource pack that removes the pumpkin thing. That's how big the platform is going to be. I'm gonna have just enough slaps. 
Ah. Ah, that's perfect, guys. Look at that. It seems to be working just fine. Now time to get the Endermite in. Nope. What kind of bad luck do we have today? If this is not enough, I don't know what is. Like, truly. Come on, Endermite. I need you. Oh. And after a lot of struggling, he was finally in place as well. There are a lot of Endermen right there, which is a good thing. I'm kind of scared of him. I'm kind of scared of my frame rates as well. Before we start killing them, I want to make an automatic throwaway system for the Ender Pearls. Because last time we did this, my form started lagging, and I do not want that to happen again. It works. I mean, the Enderman noise is another story, but it's working like an absolute charm. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, I got hurt there, and I don't know why or what exactly happened. All I know is that's definitely not. What you want to have. Man, I can literally do this for hours. You get levels so quickly, it's insane. And now the last thing we need to do, perfecting the enchantments on our gear. And then we are literally invincible and have the best gear available. And who doesn't want that? And then disaster struck. Or at least that's what I thought. Because while recording the next clip, my storage phase ran out. And so the clip became corrupted. And I was very, very disappointed because it was not usable in a video. But when I looked at a file today, it wasn't corrupted anymore. I don't know how that's possible. Like truly, I have no idea. But I'm calling it a miracle. Like, it's insane. In any case, it is time to get the right book trades from the villagers to get god armor. Okay, so I have made a list of all the enchantments I still need on my armor and gear. And I really hope we're gonna have enough emeralds, because I don't think this is quite enough. I gotta say, this is pretty relaxing. I think what I'm going to do is first gather up all the books, and then, once we have gathered up everything we want, we're going over to the Endman farm, where we have unlimited XP and then put it on our armor. You know, it just occurred to me that maybe for this one, because we can actually use the same zombie, that would be really nice. Looking pretty good for now, it's not uh, completely dumb, but that is totally fine. It's more like a holding place for them anyways. We should be ready then to convert the villagers into librarians. There must be so many villagers here now, look at that. Huh. And now you're gonna give me a good trade and good enchantment, then we're gonna be done real quick. But I guess it's not gonna be that easy, is it? Knockback, we already got that. Yes, thank you very much, Respiration 3. I'm just gonna get that. Thing is, however, that we do not need this guy anymore. And if you're wondering what we do with this villager, um... It's, uh, it's actually quite simple. Yeah, that is what we do. And since this is quite boring, I'll be going through this quite quickly. Aqua Infinity, yes. And since you're one of the villagers we only need once, uh, yeah. That was quick and painless, you gotta say that. I mean, not painless, but it was quick. Mmm. 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 I can definitely use that. And I think this is one of the villagers I indeed want to keep. Perfect, if you ask me. I don't know what I would do without a villager breeder, honestly. Ooh, sweeping edge, yes. Punch too. The thing is, however, I can make a perfect bow, but it's gonna break eventually because infinity. So I guess a mending bow is the better option here. Oh man, it seems like it's getting worse. It really does seem like it's getting worse. Okay, so the three most important things I want right now is Protection 4, Depth Strider, and Sharpness 5. And optional are Smite 5 for my axe and Flame, but that's like a little less important. Flame, just gonna get two of those. <laughs> it's just painful to look at, guys. Hello, 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 hello. Smite. See, this is an optional one, but I really want it on my axe. And maybe I'm gonna make a smite sword in the future. And look at that, our beautiful smite villager is in place. So what's left is protection for sharpness 5 and depth strider. It's like you hurt me. The thing is, if depth strider does not fit anymore on these boots, then I'm gonna have to make a new pair of boots. And then I need the villager. Villagers are unbelievable. I know it's not sharpness 5, but honestly, I'll take it. I'm gonna keep this guy as well. I'm not going to lie, we are kind of lucky with enchantments. Like, I remember having to spend way longer for mending. Oh, I can't wait to put this all on my gear. It's gonna feel so good. One enchantment left. Protection 4. But honestly, I would set up with Protection 3 as well. 
I don't know what this guy's enchantment is right now. So it is basically everything at the same time until I look at it. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, this video might turn into a pretty long video if this guy just doesn't want to turn for some reason. Man, I've seen channeling like 10 times by now. I don't want channeling. <gasps> yes, finally. Take some emeralds. As you can see, this is everything we need for our fighting gear, basically. And we're just gonna put these efficiency books on my tools. And that's basically it. Ah, that looks so funny, like it's peeing. Okay, that's... Bruh. Okay, well, let's just start at the beginning then with our helmets. Moving to our chest plates. Our leggings, same treatment. Just protection for on there. This is a really good pair of boots. Can you just shut up for one second? Seven, and I really hope this fits. Please just fit. Yes, it fits. We have the best sword there is. 11 attack damage, insane. It's here, and then we place this on my bow. Then we have the perfect mending bow. There you go. What? No, 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 no. No, you got- I definitely messed up. I meant to put it on this bow, not my infinity bow. We literally have got armor. We literally have the best gear there is. Except my bow, which is kind of sad, you know? But we can fix that, so no problem. So we both have the perfect infinity bow and a perfect mending bow. Do not need to be afraid of creepers anymore. I mean, I'm still kind of afraid of them, but I don't need to be. I'm gonna show them who is who is boss on this world, huh? Hmm? There you go. Oh, I feel invincible. I literally feel invincible. This is how a man looks when he went to battle. Uh -huh. I generally hope you guys enjoyed this video though. I am really, really happy with what we've got. We got absolute god armor right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. And goodbye.